Welcome to Gravity Sketch. Upon entering a sketch, notice your controllers displayed in front of you. I'm using the MetaQuest Pro, but the button layout and functionality is very similar across platforms. Let's go over the controller layout. Firstly, your drawing hand controller should have the red button on it. To switch handedness, simply tap the bottom of the controllers together. The trigger on top of the controllers we will refer to as the index trigger, and you'll use these triggers to create and select menu buttons. Let's create a line to use as we go along. The interior triggers we will refer to as the grab triggers, and you'll use these to move and scale both yourself and objects. Your drawing hand controller features the grab sphere. The shape attached to your controller is what enables you to grab, move, and edit sketch geometry. The red button on your drawing hand controller allows you to delete or undo actions. The button below is a dynamic button with two functions. When idle, it acts as a quick access to your toolbox. When holding an object, it becomes a quick access color wheel for rapid color and material changes. The toggle on the drawing hand controller adjusts the tool size by toggling left and right. And toggling up and down will adjust the size of the grab sphere on your drawing hand. The buttons and toggle on your non-drawing hand allow you to access the options menu, tools menu, and scroll through your timeline history by rotating the toggle clockwise or counterclockwise. The color wheel can be found just inside your non-drawing hand. Access the color wheel by presenting your drawing hand controller cursor over the color wheel icon. Pronating your drawing hand more, you'll notice the options present themselves to save sketch, take a screenshot, get help, or exit to the lobby. Now that we've covered the controller layout, let's practice moving ourselves around in 3D space. Squeezing the grab trigger on your non-drawing hand enables you to move and rotate at a set scale. Practice moving by reaching out with your non-drawing hand controller, squeezing the grab trigger, and pulling the controller towards you. Squeezing both grab triggers enables you to scale yourself relative to the objects within your sketch. Practice scaling yourself by squeezing both grab triggers, then moving your arms together or apart. You can even rotate and scale simultaneously, so practice moving and scaling yourself in 3D space, as well as familiarizing yourself with the trigger, button, and toggle layouts.